women who count. 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 A book by Dr. Shelley Jones. My name is Dr. Shelley Jones, and I am the author of Women Who Count, Honoring African American Women Mathematicians. The publisher for the book is the American Mathematical Society, AMS, and the illustrator for the book is Veronica Martins. Um, my book is a children's activity book for, grade, for children in grades three through eight, and it includes the biographies of 29 um, African American women mathematicians and it also has math activities suitable for children in grades three to eight. I include fun activities. For instance, magic squares is something I talked about earlier today. I have activities about tessellations in math and palindromes. And I also have students simplifying expressions. I talk a little bit about pie. What is pie? Something you eat? Well, Anyway, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one of the contemporary mathematicians in my book, Dr. Yolanda Parker. But before I get to Dr. Yolanda Parker, let me just tell you a little more about the book. The book has four sections. The book has the first, the first three African American women mathematicians. They are Euphemia Lofton Haynes, Dr. Evelyn Boyd Granville, and Dr. Marjorie Lee Brown. And those were the first. And then we have the pioneers, and I talked about Dr. Sylvia Bozeman earlier today, and she's in the pioneer section. These women were role models that helped people like myself and Dr. Yolanda Parker. And then we also have role models in the hidden figures, and I call them in my book the unhidden figures, like Katherine Johnson and Dorothy Vaughn and Mary Jackson and Christine Darden. And then finally, I had the contemporary first. Because believe it or not, even in 2020, we still have black women who are making first. And so I'm going to talk about Yolanda Parker today. I'm going to read her biography. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the activity that I have for Yolanda's page. Dr. Yolanda Parker, mathematics teacher educator. She says, the earlier our students are exposed to higher mathematics, the more prepared they will be for STEM fields. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to start the, a book with grades three through eight, because I think students need to get involved early with math. They need to understand what the broad definition of math is, not just solving an equation, not just looking at variables, but what is mathematics? And that's what I think this book helps children to see. Dr. Yolanda Parker's education includes earning a Bachelor of Science degree from Texas A&M University in Applied Mathematical Science, a Master of Arts in Liberal Studies from Dartmouth College, and a PhD in Mathematics Education from Illinois State University. Dr. Parker holds a Texas State Teaching Certificate in Secondary Mathematics and taught middle school uh, mathematics and computer literacy prior to earning her graduate degrees. Dr. Parker is currently a professor in the mathematics department at Tarrant County College South Campus, where she primarily teaches statistics, college algebra, developmental mathematics, and mathematics content courses for teachers. She received, she recently received the Chancellor's Award for Exemplary Teaching at Tarrant County College. Dr. Parker enjoys conducting professional development workshops and presenting at professional conferences. She enjoys learning about effective teaching methods and strategies in mathematics classrooms and sharing those ideas with practicing teachers. She is interested in researching culturally relevant teaching in mathematics. Dr. Parker likes having fun in her mathematics class and she is known for posting something about Pi Day and Pi Approximation Day each year on social media. She engages her students in some activity, 
each year that involves circles and ends with a round treat, usually oatmeal pies. Dr. Parker was honored by the Dallas-Fort Worth Professional Chapter of NSBE, the National Society of Black Engineers, and the inaugural class of 10 hidden figures of Dallas, top women of color in STEM, and this was in 2017. She is happily married to Claude Parker, her best friend and favorite jazz saxophonist, and is mother to one son, Claude Jr. So I just want to show you her page. I'll take this off because now I know where my place is. And Dr. Parker talked about how she likes Pi Day and Pi Approximation Day. So it's no wonder that the activity that I chose for Dr. Parker's page is called Lemon Pie. Do you like pie? And I see at the bottom here some number, 3.1415926, and it keeps on going, and there's some dots there. And that means that number keeps going on and on and on. So I'm gonna get up for a second so I can show you up here. So I have this board here. I don't know if you can see the board, but I talked about the first three African-American women to receive PhDs in math. Euphemia Lofton Haynes, Dr. Euphemia Lofton Haynes, Dr. Evelyn Boyd Granville, and Dr. Marjorie Lee Brown. And Dr. Um, Haynes, she received her uh, PhD back in 1943. Uh, Dr. Boyd Granville earned her PhD in 1949 from Yale University. And I forgot to mention, uh, Haynes was from Catholic University. And Dr. Marjorie Lee Brown from the University of Michigan. Uh, earlier today, I, ta I talked a little bit about Dr. Uh, Sylvia Bozeman. And she worked at, uh, she was a professor for many years at Spelman College, and that was my alma mater. And then I talked about a couple of the activities, Fun with Magic Squares and Color by Shape. And now I'm talking a little bit about Dr. Parker, and I want to show you the activity. So in her activity called Lemon Pie, it says, simplify the expression in the circle. Color the circle using the following colors. Twos, anywhere you see a two, you're gonna color it light brown. Anywhere you see a three, you're gonna color it dark brown. And if you see a four, you're gonna color it yellow. So let, let me just pick one out. Uh, let's say this, this one. 10 to the zero plus three. So here, the students have to know a little bit about exponents. And 10 to the zero is, equals one, and one plus three equals four. So in my key, it says color the fours yellow. So in this section, I would color that section yellow. And it says wherever there's a five, color it red. So in this section, it says the square root of 81, which is nine, 9 plus 8 is 17, 17 minus 5, 12 is 5. So I would color this section blue, uh, red, excuse me, I would color this section red. And I would continue to do that, simplify the expressions, color in your picture, and voila, you have a lemon pie. So let me show you mine. So there's my lemon pie. And so it's not that it's such a difficult problem, but it's, these are problems that I wanted students to be able to just pick up and do on their own without the help of their parents or their teachers. If they're not sure about something, they can look it up, they can Google it, they can look it online, or they could even look in their textbook if they have a textbook at home. But the important thing is, is to let them have fun with it. So although I have them simplifying expressions, I also have them coloring. And the, the uh, color by shape that I did earlier what is the same thing, except that one was geometry. Um, so I think that I am done for today.